east of I-275 and right across the train track is one of Canton's many beautiful subdivisions, North Gate of Canton. East of North Gate is one of the township's oldest communities, Holiday Park. Holiday Park is a quaint and quiet area and home to longtime Canton residents and many younger families. It was subdivisions like Holiday Park that started Canton's building boom. However, in this one, like other older communities, the township overlooked an important factor of neighborhood living, that being open spaces. The Holiday Park subdivision, when it was built uh, decades ago, was one of the first subdivisions in Canton. At that time, there was no concept of putting a park in neighborhoods. Canton Township, with the encouragement of its residents, and two ladies in particular, took steps to rectify that. As Northgate planning was underway, Holiday Park residents Maddie Reeks and Heidi K. Foe stepped up and made their voices heard. Yeah, I, um, it was a meeting about whether to rezone this property. It used to be Woods, and uh, they were rezoning it for this development. And we were all going, of course, to protect our woods. I kind of mentioned in the meeting, I said, I'm, I would not be interested in buying an apartment this close to the railroad tracks. I said, but if you were to build a playground, that might draw more of the people you're hoping to bring in and also be kind of a peace offering and goodwill gesture to the neighborhood next door. And to Canton's credit, it listened. The combination of the uh, mothers mentioning it, the Board of Trustees setting the strategic goal to have more protected green space and parks brought this to be. Now, between the old and settled and the new and upcoming homes in this peaceful neighborhood can be found one of Canton's latest developments. Welcome to Copper Park. Nestled on the corner of Shaw and Copernick sits this long-awaited and eagerly anticipated project. I know that we've had a countdown in our house for this grand opening and we've been watching every piece of equipment come in daily. Um, it's been something that we've really been looking forward to and I know a lot of other neighbors have really been looking forward to it. So now that it's finally here, I think uh, we have nothing but excitement for it. I know a lot of other parents in the neighborhood, as discussion on the Facebook page happens, everyone's like, yes, I'm so excited. So, I mean, who, what, what parent isn't excited to have a brand new playground built right next door? Not only does it provide a play escape for the neighborhood kids, but it brings a little more charm to the area. With a slide, swing set, and playscape, it's the perfect place to help kids and parents release some of the day's pent up pressure with the extra benefit of staying close to home. For me, I know it's really lovely that if we're running rambunctious, I can say, hey, let's take a five minute walk and go run around the playground. Right. <laughs> It'll be nice it's to here. host play dates yes, um, exactly. by our neighborhood because I feel like we're always going to other people's outdoor parks, um, either in their subs or closer to, or that live closer to other Canton parks. So but can now, people here. yes, we can welcome them <laughs> to our neighborhood. And it's got something for everybody, from shade, benches, and soft play areas for safety and comfort. So we wanted to have something for everybody here. One of the newer things that we're really trying to incorporate in parks is right here behind me is a shade structure. This is really something that um, we don't have at all of our parks and we really wanted to incorporate and it as one of the, the faster growing trends. We put in the, the soft fall surface, the rubberized surface, so that everything um, in those areas is accessible for individuals of all abilities, whether you're, you're using a wheelchair or otherwise, you can access all the different features of the park. And it's also safe for you should you fall off of something. Um, and we wanted activities, you know, we've got the, uh, a merry-go-round here, we've got slides, we've got climbing equipment, and we've got swings, so we've really got something for everybody. Now this park is um, targeted toward a younger crowd, but we have a lot of young families that live in this area, and we wanted something that, you know, mom and dad could walk over here, or grandma and grandpa could walk over here with the young kids, and have a, have a place to sit and get out of the sun while the kids are running around and having a, a fun time in a safe location. By having this facility here uh, so close to the Holiday Park subdivision, which is a, a huge uh, subdivision with a lot of very young families, and if you look at the equipment here, it's more geared for uh, the younger kids. Also, we have a Wayne County Park system that's across the street from their subdivision. That's hundreds of acres of open land for the older kids to be able to hike and go on trails. So I think it's a nice blend of 
quality life opportunity for the younger kids uh, that both the Holiday Park subdivision as well as the apartment complex directly behind the, uh, this park can take advantage of. I think it's a good, uh, good opportunity to bring the families out together and get some outdoor some fun. It took three plus years, battles with delays due to the COVID pandemic, and a great deal of work, but the park was finally brought to life. It took us three and a half years of a whole lot of work from uh, the Leisure Services Department, uh, Brad Lear and his team. They just worked tirelessly uh, in design and manufacturing of the whole facility. We got slowed down quite a bit due to the COVID uh, pandemic. Uh, they were able to overcome that and get it done before the um, snow flies. We're very happy to have this new um, quality of life opportunity in Canton Township for all of our residents. Although small, parks like Copper are an important addition to these communities and are great examples of what can be done in other communities throughout Canton. It seemed to me there was a lack of uh, close parks up in this area. So I was glad to hear about the two mothers that brought this up to a uh, meeting and they actually went through and it took several years but they did get this done and it's the first park up really in the northeast area of Canton Township. Yeah, so this is this is a great template for a small neighborhood park. So this is this is a park that's built on about a half of an acre. So much smaller than any of our other parks, but this is a great template that we can pick up and put someplace else. We don't need a whole lot of land to have a great space for the community. Outside of being a great escape, parks bring added value to their surrounding neighborhoods, much like Copper Park will. As parks are closer to your house, they have a 5 to 15 percent increase on property values. As of now, Copper Park has caused great excitement and met expectations. Personally, I think it's a really nice park. It's, uh, it's terrific looking. They have uh, a lot of great equipment here that's new and hopefully it'll get a lot of use. While it's not Heritage, Freedom, or Preservation Park, it's a park nonetheless. And like every park in Canton Township, it will help beautify its surroundings and solidify the neighborhood and people within.